When working in model space, you are actually working inside of a viewport. Although initially there is just one viewport, you can divide the model space window into multiple viewports, each of which can display different views of the model at the same time. These viewports are referred to as tiled viewports because they appear side by side like tiles. They cannot overlap. But you can easily divide the model space window into multiple viewports and resize those viewports. You can divide the viewport into multiple viewports by using either the viewport control in the upper left corner of the viewport or the tools in the model viewports panel of the view ribbon. For example, click the viewport controls in the upper left corner of the drawing area and then expand the viewport configuration list to view a list of predefined viewport configurations. Another way to do this is to switch to the view ribbon. Then, in the model viewports panel, click the viewport configuration split button. Here, you can see the same list of predefined viewports. To split the current viewport into two viewports arranged side by side, choose Two Vertical. The drawing window is immediately divided in half and the current viewport appears with a bright blue boundary. Only one viewport can be active at a time. The bright blue boundary helps you identify the active viewport. If the navigation bar is visible, it only appears in the active viewport, and when you move the cursor, the crosshair also appears only in the active viewport. When you click in the other viewport, it becomes the active viewport. Although initially both viewports display the same view, you can easily pan and zoom within the active viewport to change its view. In the left viewport, zoom into the room in the lower left. You can use viewports to see and work in different areas of the drawing at different levels of magnification. For example, select the chair closest to the door. The chair highlights in both viewports. Press the delete key to remove it from the drawing. The chair disappears from both viewports because they show the same geometry but at different levels of magnification. Suppose you wanted to copy the sofa from the office in the lower left into the room in the upper right. Click in the right viewport to make it the active viewport and then zoom into the room in the upper right. Then click in the left viewport to make it the active viewport. Then, on the Home ribbon, in the Modify panel, click the Copy tool. The program prompts you to select objects. Select the sofa, and then right-click to complete the object selection step. Next, the program prompts you to specify a base point. Click to select the upper left corner of the sofa. Then the program prompts you to specify the second point. Click in the right viewport to make it the active viewport. You immediately see the sofa attached to the cursor. Click to place a copy of the sofa into the room and then press Enter to end the command. Double click the roller wheel to zoom to the drawing extents. You have just seen one of the advantages of using tiled viewports. You can see and work in different areas of the drawing at different levels of magnification at the same time. When you no longer want to work with multiple tiled viewports, you can easily restore the screen back to a single viewport by using either the viewport control in the upper left or the tools in the model viewports panel of the view ribbon. For example, click the viewport controls in the upper left corner of the active viewport. You can then either choose Maximize Viewport or expand the viewport configuration list and choose Single. Clicking Maximize Viewport is faster because it requires just a single click. Or 
you can simply double click the viewport controls button to toggle between a single viewport and the last multiple viewport configuration. Switch back to the tiled viewports. To restore a single viewport using the ribbon on the view ribbon in the model viewports panel, you can either expand the viewport configuration split button and choose single or simply click the restore button. Click restore again. This tool actually toggles between a single viewport and the last multiple viewport configuration. With two viewports again visible, click to make the left viewport the active viewport. Then click Restore. Notice that when you toggle to a single viewport using the Restore tool, the single viewport retains the level of magnification of the active viewport.